Ryan show. Nice. What's happening guys? Tonight I'm going to show you one of the scariest, creepiest buildings at Penn State. And I've been in quite a few of the so-called scary haunted buildings. But this one, hands down, is the scariest. And I don't believe in ghosts either. That building right there, that's the Penn State Library, okay, and that section right there is called the Stacks. The Stacks is haunted. And there are a lot of haunted buildings at Penn State. For instance, you got Schwab Auditorium, supposed to be haunted because uh, the first president, George W. Atherton, is buried there. It's funny how a lot of people don't even realize that he's buried there. I've been in quite a few of these haunted buildings, but the Paternal Petit Library with the stacks is the creepiest building. Definitely the creepiest building. Uh, the library. So on the Petit side. So you got the Paternal and the Petit side. The stacks is on the Petit side. The reason that is haunted is because in November of 1969, Betsy Oddsma, a 22 year old graduate student, was murdered by a single stab wound inside the Batille Library at Pennsylvania State University. And this case is still unsolved. There are a few suspects that might have killed Betsy, but the number one suspect is this guy, Richard Hefner, a doctoral student at Penn State at the time, knew and briefly dated Betsy. I am reading this article from Lancaster Online. Richard Hefner was called many things during his 58 years. He was the brilliant Dr. Hefner, an assistant professor of geology and renowned lecturer with a doctorate from Penn State University. He was a defendant in a high-profile 1976 molestation case, which ended in a hung jury and a series of other criminal complaints, some petty, some serious. He was the plaintiff who spent a considerable portion of his final two decades in courtrooms, filing lawsuit after lawsuit, some intended to clear his name, others intended to harass his enemies. He was a terror, a neighbor who enraged those who lived near him in the 200 block of Nevin Street in Lancaster with his slovenly ways and vindictive behavior. But one thing Hefner, who died in 2002, was never called, was a murderer until now. November 28, 1969, possible suspect in the Betsy Osma murder. Composite was made by the desk clerk who saw him leaving the library. The desk clerk was a black guy, by the way, and that is Richard Hefner. This is the exact spot where Betsy Osma was murdered. It's in the basement, the part of the stacks that has no windows. What makes it creepy down there is because it's like a maze and you can't look over those bookshelves so someone can easily walk up on you. And if you go online, you can look these places up for yourself. See the 10 most haunted places at Penn State. You got number 10, Old Coley Watts Hall, Brumball Hall, number nine, eight, the Ghost Walk, Old Botany, yep, yeah, I've been in that building. That's that's across from uh, Schwab Auditorium. Supposedly, um, Atherton's wife, you can see her looking out the window. Um, Beam Hall, Tenor Hall, Keller Building, there's the Petit lab, Library Stacks. They got that number three. Schwab Auditorium, yep, been in that one. 
this old building is kind of creepy, but and Runkle Hall. But as you can see, the T Library, even though it's number three, see what it says? It's definitely the creepiest. And I agree. I attest to that. That's one creepy building, especially if you go in there at night. <laughs> this is a very creepy place. It's like you don't know who's lurking in this place. It's like a maze. Who's there? there? You never know. A girl got murdered here one time. It's very creepy. It's a creepy place. You never know who might be in here lurking. Hey, what's that? Is that somebody down there? I thought I found somebody. This place, this place creeps me out. Somebody, somebody got killed, killed in here. Creepy, creepy, creepy. It's a creepy place.